Hi Ninja Nerds, in this video we're going to talk about blood flow through the heart. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Also, check out ninjanerd.org where you can see whiteboard illustrations and comprehensive notes for us in these videos as well. Alright, let's get started. So blood flow through the heart. We have pulmonary and systemic circuit. So remember that there's basically two loops that the blood has to go through. It has to go from the heart to the lungs back to the heart, and then it has to go from the heart to the rest of the body and back. And remember, the purpose of this is to have oxygenated blood. So we have O2 and O2, right? And we have, when it goes from the heart to the lungs, it's deoxygenated blood, so that when we're at the lungs, we pick up oxygen, and then we can bring it to the heart, and then go out to the body, okay? That's just a little overview of the heart, so that we understand that the purpose of the blood pumping is basically to push, of the heart pumping, is to push blood through the body to give the oxygen and nutrients that it needs. All right, so here we go. We have right here our inferior vena cava and our superior vena cava. Blood is coming in through. It's going into our right atria, through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle. From there, we're going to push up through right here, which is our pulmonary valve, up the pulmonary trunk, and out the pulmonary arteries. So now we're in the right lung and the left lung. From there, this oxygenated blood now needs to return to the heart. So when it returns to the heart, what does it go through? It goes through pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins, into the left atrium. From the left atrium, it goes through the, what's this valve right here? mitral valve into the left ventricle through the aortic valve and up the aorta and then down through the rest of the body, right? That is blood flow through the heart. Let's try it one more time just so we get an understanding of it. The blood is coming from the superior inferior vena cava into the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle and up the pulmon or out the pulmonary vein through the pulmonary trunk out to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. Once we're in the lungs, we go through the pulmonary vein to the left atrium, through the mitral valve, through the left ventricle, out through the aorta valve, and out the aorta to the rest of the body. That's it. Now, you may be wondering what's down here. What's this little guy? You may have seen him before, Mr. Whiskers, also known as our rat. Vice President, I like to remember him to remember some blood flow through the heart and also the delineation between the right side and the left side of the heart. And the reason it all makes sense to me is if you write down RAT VP, you can just remember that it's the right atrium through the tricuspid to the ventricle to the pulmonary valve. Pulmonary, nope, can't write that word. Try that one more time, pulmonary. There you go. Valve. So that way, you have the whole right side of the heart, and then by default, you're gonna know where we're going from the left side of the heart. So once we're in the pulmonary vein, we're going to the lung, and then we're going to the left atria, the mitral valve, the left ventricle, the aorta, valve, and the aorta. And that's it. That's blood flow through the heart. Hope you guys like this video. And as always, until next time.